Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing the Patek Philippe 5136-1J-001, a 37mm automatic winding yellow gold perpetual calendar on full factory bracelet. The model is 37mm in diameter by 10.1mm thick from lug to lug. The case measures 44.4mm and end link to end link. It is 47mm with a 19mm spacing between the lugs. This model was introduced in 2003 and discontinued in approximately 2008. It's a rare watch, uh, and as you can see, it is a spectacular watch. It makes a statement without actually being that large. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see there is plenty of clearance. The lugs come nowhere near either side of my wrist, so I could recommend this watch even on the bracelet for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference, and of course it will wear even smaller on a strap. The bracelet adds a lot of value as it's Basically, your insurance against ever having to purchase a $400 factory strap if you live in hotter climates where perspiration is expected. And, as you can see, there are gaps between the five-link design that vent the wrist quite well. The bracelet includes little pass-throughs for the pusher adjusters that allow you to adjust the perpetual calendar mechanism. And then you can see that this is something Patek no longer does, but removable links are fixed by screws. And because white gold has better mechanical qualities than yellow gold, you can see there are white gold screws inside yellow gold links. Likewise, because white gold is the hardest gold, it is used for the internal swing arms of the double deployant clasp. And then we have a clamshell lock with a Calatrava cross on top to keep it all closed and secure on your wrist. Uh, popping it back open, we'll roll over to the case. It is a handsome and fluid form. This is what a dress watch should look like. And you can see there's a little bit of a countersink to the crown so it doesn't stick out in untoward fashion. The bezel is stepped in from the case band, which creates the impression of a thinner watch. It has a very narrow vertical section that gives way to a domed profile. And then we have this ivory-colored off-white, silver-white dial. I, I mentioned off-white, ivory, silver white. It is all of those things at once. What it is not, however, is a sunburst. It is a matte opaline finish, as Patek calls it. We have three coaxial registers. We have a 24-hour dial, so you know when not to use the adjuster systems that is, during the night. We have the day, coaxial with the 24-hour display, and then we have leap year phase and month, and then we have a radial date with a moon phase. It's a perpetual calendar, so it doesn't need to be adjusted until the year 2100. The moon phase has an adjustment interval of 122 years. We have applique yellow gold, diamond polished, faceted indices, and we have dauphine hands, etc., also in yellow gold. We have little sigma marks. Those are a relic of the so-called a prior initiative from in the early 70s, when a Swiss Precious Metals Trade Association asked the watchmakers to put this little Sigma-like symbol on their dials to indicate that hands and indices were made of gold, and indeed here they are. You can also see that the printing is physically smaller, especially the nameplate and the city of origin on these older Patek Philippe watches. So we know it's a perpetual calendar, and it is powered by uh, caliber 240. Let me do my best to show you this here. Caliber 240 is an automatic winding micro rotor that was originally launched in 1977 and it's usually used on the upscale watches. You generally find the center rotor automatics on the more entry level Pateks. So we have a micro rotor, 22 karat gold, that winds a 48 hour power reserve, beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It uses a gyromax style free sprung balance for better shock tolerance as well as more precise adjustment. You can see that this is a watch that bears the Poisson de Genève as it is a Geneva hallmark movement finished to that standard. It is also adjusted in five positions and pivots on 27 joules. Finishing highlights, I'll do my best to showcase them here, include mirrored anglage on the edge of each bridge. You can also see it in the jewel and screw sinks. There's engine turning on the base plate, linear coat de Genève across the rotor as well as the bridges, and all screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. You can also see there are a few instances, especially on the balance cock, where the locating pegs that are used to locate the bridge to the base plate have been black polished on their top, so no stone unturned. And of course, this watch is 30 meters water resistant. It is a dress watch, so please don't take it swimming. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.